Hello everyone. Welcome to another chapter of unit of technical analysis. Uh, this video is pertaining to W.D. Khan and we are discussing about his uh, book, Tunnel Through the Air. Uh, and this uh, is going to be specifically about secrets revealed and this part is regarding astrology. And this is the third video in the series. If you go to uh, YouTube and uh, find out unit of technical analysis for trading. In that, you'll be getting a playlist. And if you go to the playlist for WD Gun trading techniques, there will be, you'll be finding various videos which are there. Right? Uh, for example, video number one, two, three, four, and video number eight and nine are related to the book Tunnel Through the Air, and it specifically talks about astrology. That is part eight and part nine. Right? Let's go back to the book. Now, this is not really the book which is there, but uh, a lecture which has been conducted by Bonnie Lee Hill. And these are the contents in the previous parts in uh, part number eight and part number nine. We have tried to cover uh, some of the aspects, which is including introduction, what is her idea about uh, the book that is uh, uh, through the air and how she has identified various cycles. And she has also done... Uh, huge, huge amount of resource. She has collected all the charts related to and historical data related to the floods and rest of the aspects, which we'll discuss one by one. And we have also seen that in part number eight and part number nine of the YouTube videos in the series. We also seen wet common farmer. We have seen a poor cotton farmer, dry cotton farmer in the previous parts. We have also seen Robert's cotton campaign in uh, part number nine. Now we'll go to forecast of cotton parts for 1922. Probably this would be the uh, last video. So we'll quickly try to cover most of the things which are there. We'll go to page number 22. So this is page number 20. So this is a forecast for cotton market for 1922. Let's see if we can apply these rules to another forecast in one of uh, Gan's book. We will uh, select a chart from the truth of stock tapes, uh, page number 34. I mean, if you can just go through the book, you'll be able to identify or get the details which are there in that part. I won't be able to share that uh, because there is no specific link. I'll try to see that if link is there, definitely I'll post that also. This is annual forecast for 1922. I'll quickly explain you how this chart has been made. This star, chart starts from uh, 3rd to 5th of April. And those figures or those prices have been considered as zero. And everything related to that has been considered with zero as the basis. Uh, now, note this is important. Zero is not a price. But that level has been considered as zero. And on the basis of that, rest of the figures has been considered. So you'll be finding something which is in negative also. But this is negative in terms of points from the reference point. right? Uh, this forecast was generated in December 1921 uh, and published in 1923 as an appendix to Truth of the Stock Tapes. Uh, if you study this chart, you will realize it is rather odd. The prices are run from minus 40 to 240, right? So this is how it is. So it goes 25, 240 points up from April 3rd to 5th, uh, almost till July, August. And from there, it goes 240 to 40, that is uh, 280 points down till October 1824, so that has been given in the book. Right. And now this basically talks about certain things. We must have found that Jupiter conjuncts Uranus would give him a 150 points move, which is there, right? Uh, again, apart from that, uh, this is an aspect reproduced on cotton forecast sent on April 25. 1922. So this was been sent across in 1922 to his clients, right? And some of the things which are there, uh, which is critically important, I wanted to just uh, show it to you. Why? Because these are important to understand Gans' readings and his analysis overall. A correction was made in the October supplement, right? So first of all, this was been sent in April 1922 or to all his clients. A correction was made in October supplement, which advised that the trend has turned up and that prices would not come down to the level indicated for October 1823, right? So it's like October 18 to 23, these prices won't be coming and probably from here onwards, it would be going up further. This is what he wanted to show. 
Uh, now this signifies few of the things that okay it's not necessary that every prediction that you make for the future is going to be accurate some of them are only able to be identified probably you zoom in and get into the charts of those specific time periods so it's always necessary that you should be able to be flexible for few of the things right so this is what it's been done trend has turned up and the prices would not come down to the level indicated for october 1823 18 to 24. The supplement for November called for the top and change in trend about November 8. So this was the first change around November, right? And after that, it was further going to come down. So cotton made exact low on December 6 and rallied to December 23, right? So it was like, okay, till this point, it would be going on a high. From here, it would be coming down to December. And then from again, it would be rallying back. So this is what he has been telling all together and rest of the things are almost the same. So you can just read across this part. This has been uh, probably pasted into part eight and I'll, I'll probably try to send across a link for this uh, seminar again into this chapter also. This will be chapter 10. So he has also given the links not the links but this is for may october and december so how the stocks has been rallying going further and up this has been explained uh gans cotton forecast was very good at predicting the reversal but not perfect at predicting the magnitude of the price move so he was very uh, accurate in terms of uh, the reversal dates because he knew that okay because of the forecast and the dates that he has been able to know accurately for moments in planetary moments and maybe there are conjugations which are there so he was able to be appropriate in that point but the momentum which is there not perfect at predicting the magnitude of the price move right so probably he tried to make further corrections into that part so we should be flexible further in our studies gant called the first factor loss motion let's assume that aspect a was worth 10 points and aspect b was worth 50 points if both aspects occur at the same time gant predicted plus 60 point move however cotton moved only 52 points the difference between the prediction and reality was called lost motion so this is something just because in, in in talking in terms of science when you are moving across with a vehicle there is something called as friction and because of the friction you have to apply extra force or maybe probably there is a loss in energy which is there right so similar way probably in terms of astrology, astrology also we have something called as lost motion the effect of two aspects could not be determined by simply adding their separate effects right so because it is not like okay simple arithmetic part because some of the parts uh, gyan has tried to use uh, mathematical aspects so it's like given further in gyan's early predictions you will find that he used simple arithmetic in his later predictions, you would find that Gan considered lost motion in his prediction. So he tried to consider certain factors, just like we do in mathematics or maybe say science. We have considered certain factors because of which probably the value would be coming down. Let's say it's like loss in energy, right? Now we uh, get Jan predict for 1922 cotton, and this is all the astrological dates which have been given, which he wants to say. And he says that, okay, probably Venus, Mercury, has been playing an important role. This we have seen in the book also that Venus was playing an important role. Not only that, but again, Mercury was also playing an important role. All the above geocentric uh, ingredients and stations of interest during 1922. So these are also been given. Probably you need to study that in de detail. Following table lists some interesting aspects in 1922. So probably he has given that, okay, it starts from 0, 45, 60, 30, uh, 45, 90, 60. So all these angles which are there probably which are important, which you have seen in the book also that he has given that, okay, it divides into various parts. It can be one third, one half, one fifth, one seventh, one eighth. So these are all been considered over here. These are the aspects. And there is something called as anti-parallel and the contour parallel, which has been given here. So for example, this is anti-parallel and this is contra-parallel. Right. And all the dates are also been given. Right. Uh, the next table is some of the aspects we should consider. A strong aspect is Jupiter Uranus aspect, which you have seen previously, will be much more powerful than a lunar declination. Now, declination is which is something important. Let's read the complete paragraph. You should also check the maximum and minimum of lunar declination. 
once again you will notice that we have bottoms at zero south declination major tops occur in the time between zero south to maximum south declination now this is something really important we'll try to cover this into the declination chapter also which is going to be the next chapter after this so something important which starts from the declination point and firstly from the south declination part is something critical and he has explained this in further details also but so these are all been given one by one so starting from north or probably south part and how they move further this have been given right as you study the previous table you will find sets of patterns like the mercury venus aspects occasionally can had a situation in which he expected a reversal but he didn't have a strong aspect in such cases gan would use the full or new moon this aspect was rather low of his priority list because of the retrogrades you will find cases in which the aspect is repeated if you study gan's chart you will be able to generate gan's forecast right so all these things are important but again talking in terms of technical things wherever he wanted to find out details probably used to take support of other things also right but priority wise it has already been given what was of priority and what was not of priority right so again declination declination is something going to be important right we come to that chapter which is declination we'll go through this chapter line by line because this is something very important we have studied two classes of predictions a broad prediction such as floods and very specific prediction such as small reversal in cotton prices the tunnel through the air contains many other references to astrology page 77 of tunnel through the air contains the following passage in every law of nature there is a major and minor a positive a negative and a neutral right and he has she has specifically underlined this also she means bonnie lee hill she is the author who is presented this uh, small presentation which has been given and this has been written in the form of a small note right in so negative and neutral negative positive and neutral therefore in cycles there must be a lesser a greater and an intermediate cycle or cycles within cycles like ezekiel says wheel within a wheel right so what is positive negative we'll study that a positive negative and neutral refers to declination so max north max south and zero declination this have been given so is per it is as per refers if it is positive starting from the max north side or maybe from north south so either way the major and minor refer to a big planet and a little planet right again major and minor have been in a different terminology which has been used a major and a minor also refers to a large cycle and a small cycle so terminology may be different as gan used to say that okay he can use a day for a year and a year for a day also same way here the terminology may differ on point to point basis gan writes equivalent things in his other material page 80 of gan's commodity trade course contains the following statement every movement of the market is the result of a natural law and of a cause which exists long before the effect takes place and can be determined years in advance right now gan in his book has also written tunnel through the air that he is not been talking more about the causes because he think that the general public may not be able to understand that or grasp that right but maybe causes are important so we need to understand those causes also which are been given in this book so understand those causes also everything has a major and a minor and in order to be accurate in forecasting the future you must know the major cycle as the most money is made when extreme fluctuations occur so this is important kindly note this you will find reference to declination cycles throughout gans book right now where are they been given for example on first uh, our first example is found on page 79 right history shows that in 1916 agriculture in british isles was at its lowest ebb and that there was a great scarcity of wheat and corn right the same thing happened 100 years 1000 years after that is in 1916 1917 right why that has been given our job is to determine what is similar between 1916 and uh, 916 and 1916 we would consult the fermis we find that geocentric saturn was at maximum north declination in march during both 1916 and 
right? So both the aspects have been given and he has tried to see what happened thousand years before. So that's why he talks about cycle and he has been very particular about in his book, Turner Through the Air. What are the cycles and how we need to find out these cycles? And the cause has also been given over here. So understanding the book, interpreting the book becomes much more simpler. That's why he, I have just shortlisted probably this uh, presentation because all the things have been very clearly mentioned. Since Saturn's sidereal year is 29.457, now understand this figure is also very important. Right, you need to understand the figures which have been given probably not on the over year, but coming from tunnel through the air and why those aspects were very important. It is very uncommon for geocentric Saturn to be a maximum north declination in March. Again, our astrological sign occurs in the spring. So spring was something common and that we saw in the wet farmers also spring was very important, especially for the floods part. Okay. On page 202 in the tunnel through the air, Gan discusses the great bull market from 1924 throughout 1927. Now, this is a different cycle and a big cycle, which is there from 1927 onwards to 1927, which is almost 25, 26, 27, three years of cycle. We went back into the stock market and in the great college bull campaign from 1924 to 1927. And again, a dominant factor in General Motors. Now, here he has clearly mentioned, she has clearly mentioned about General Motors. Otherwise, it was not clearly mentioned. And other stocks and was reputed to have made 50 millions or more. Again, we must determine what GAN is suggesting by these statements. We check the geocentric ephemis and find the following. March, April 1924, G, that is geocentric Jupiter max south declination. Geocentric Uranus in mouth declination during all of 1924. And again, in July 8, 1927, geocentric Jupiter zero north declination. Right? May 1, 1927, G, Uranus, zero, not declination. Now, these have been given and very important to understand, right? Why? We'll see this further. The declination of both planets is increasing during the 1924-1927 bull market. There are many hidden references to declination in this book. What are they? We'll see one by one. Right? Again, talking about major motors, right? Those are major motors. And here again, as I told you, clearly it was being given as general motors. So that has been mentioned over here. We have studied three weather rules, the poor cotton farmer, the wet cotton farmer, and the dry cotton farmer. We have also studied examples of short-term cotton trades and declination of the major geocentric planets. Now we will turn our attention to short-term trades of a specific stock that is, gives us the following hints, right? So hints are, Mr. Watson also told Robert how Durant had become the giant motor magnet and formed the General Motors Corporation in 1908. On this day, he made a new and great discovery of time factor, from which we figured that major motors would decline until June 30th and then start an advance which would last until about September 16, 1927. Right? The dates may be differ here and there, but talking in terms of here, yes, it's almost the same because it is like July 8, May 1 of 1927, which is there. And here he talks about till September 1927. So probably a bit here and there is okay until unless we have that three years of bull market, which we are able to catch. When the company would be 19 years old, right? The following natal charts are not, natal chart has been given over here, how that has been there, right? You can probably pause at this part and see that if you're able to understand all the things. So this will be there in Astro Log 32 and you'll be able to get the details. The dates and all the things are already been mentioned. Right? So these are the aspects, Max North, Max South, those have been given. Uh, so uh, that he has explained further. Right? If you study the prices, you will notice that GAN is building a pyramid. He buys General Motors at 204, 2014, 224, and then can't buy at 234 because the stop loss was being held. Right? So it was like he did buy 204, 2014, 2024, probably because he knew the dates and on the basis of the dates, which are important, and the locations of the planets was important. That is planetary aspect. That's why he has considered that price to be bought across for. And again, here, probably stop loss has been hit. Now, one thing very important which we need to understand is 
he bought at 204 he bought at 20 240 he again bought at 224 after that he didn't place his stop loss somewhere around below 224 he moved his stop loss further so this is just to cover your losses not your losses but at least your if you are buying at 224 to cover your brokerage also so that's why just you need to move your stop loss ahead of that once the price starts moving further this is very important can always says that once you are into profit for any of the stock you should immediately trail your stop loss and shouldn't allow that profitable trade to run into losses this is one of his uh, rules which he has mentioned in uh, the commodity course please go through that you will be able to just understand for the things he then started a second pyramid and bought at 218 228 20, 238 248 258 right now if you can just see across the changes in the numbers it was 204 14 24 34 34 now he has changed the numbers to 218 28 38 48 58 right just giving you further details a major bottom occurs when geocentric sun is square natal saturn gan sales one geocentric sun is conjunct the natal sun right and two planets are at zero sub declination right the bottom occurs when geocentric mars is conjunct the descendant the descendant means uh, we are talking about gemini which is uh, america's sign which is there please notice that the geocentric mars transit are very important jan also considers aspects that are multiple of 15 degree right so this is what i was talking about over here he is talking about various degrees you can see in the previous chapter also previous chart of the chapter this is the chart this ah so he is talking about all the degrees which are there 45 150 60 30 45 90 so these are all various degrees that he has considered here also it is the same thing 0 90 135 30 so these are all multiples of 15 0 15 30 45 60 75 90 105 right so if you see for a square right the square is we consider 90 so square as 1 2 3 4 5 different parts so from starting starting from 0 to 90 we can consider 1 2 3 4 5 different angles which will be coming up us natal chart is there so us ascendant is gemini as i told you previously gan also discuss aspects of the us natal chart gan gives us several hints concerning this chart right so various examples and probably hints have been given our july 4 1931 the people all over the united states were celebrating the victory of cairo when the english and german metal shift and hydroplanes had been destroyed same is another example was born under the sign which astrologers call the ascendant sign of the united states so that's why he has been considered as parallel to the united states and he single handedly saves the united states the sign gemini ruled by mercury the messenger of the gods and this is again the chart which is there for united states of america which can be again seen on astrolog on the dates which are specifically been mentioned that is july 4 1776 1776 you can just go back to tunnel through the air book and you will be able to refer this uh, date 1776 then these are war dates which have been given again very important one by one you can go through that and these are again important dates like 90 degree 180 degree 90 degrees which have been given and that's why they are critical right you just see the explanation you should notice a large number of mars aspects during the war with japan Japan declares war when geocentric Mars is square natal Mars. Right, the enemy attacks Washington D.C., the heart of the United uh, U.S. government, when geocentric Mars is conjunct the ascendant and Uranus. So probably this has all been given over here. Same is there with uh, United States D.C., Washington D.C. Sorry. So this has all been given. when geocentric mars is conjunct the ascendant and uranus pluto is associated with hidden riches in the ground the seabot 
is destroyed when geocentric plateau is semi sextile the us ascendant right so see about this is where the dates have been mentioned g plateau 13 no ascendant so these are all been given in detail the united states defies the enemy when geocentric neptune is square the us ascendant the us fights back when geocentric mars is sextile the natal moon that is the people right so uh, these are talking about uh, the declinations part which is important i'll request you if you can go through the book and then compare with the charts which have been given or maybe the dates it should be much more easier because until unless you go through the dates in details you won't be able to find those things other astrological techniques gan mentioned astrological techniques throughout the book right now again this chapter is important uh, to just understand the different astrological aspects which are there as i have mentioned this book is a test book of astrology i will give you a few examples he had read he had read where it says i will appoint a day for a year and a year for a day this is an obvious reference to secondary progressions page 177 of the tunnel through the earth the professor made out his horoscope hurriedly and told him that venus and mars were in conjunction by transit in the sign leo which ruled the heart now this specific part is about when uh, mary mary leaves robert right so that conjunction is also been given the transit part jan is referring to geocentric transit to transit aspects page 177 178 of tunnel through the air professor joyful told robert that venus progress in the sign leo right 69 we have seen this his uh, birth date was, was his office was there on that date his birthdays were again related to number 69 all these hints have been given for leo which rules the heart would cause some sorrow and heart aches when there are afflictions to it it is another reference to secondary progressions page 247 of the tunnel through the air robert decides to write to a famous astrologer in canada which he had heard of gan is again suggesting the use of personal astrology and horoscopes page 249 of the tunnel through the air the progressed mars is traveled towards a conjunction of virus the goddess of love and when this is completed she will probably come back into your heart again the dates have been given 30th august 1932 yet another reference to secondary progressions on mars 19 page number 9 197 of the tunnel through the air on this day he made a new and great discovery of the time factor from which he figured that major motors would decline until about june 30th and then start an advance which would last until about september 16 1927 when the company would be 19 years old and at that time the stock would reach a final high and would then go down to february to april 1929 so that is almost 2 years or one and a half years to be considered gan describes a solar return by mentioning a company's birthday right so birthday is like a solar return which is there and we have seen lunar returns which are different lunar return was specifically been given in a different book so moonbeam is talking about lunar return which is there and we can go through this part again if you want right describes a solar return by mentioning a company birthday the phase 19 years obviously refers to the north node cycle of 18.6133 days see again the secrets have been hidden in that part right and again talking about this declinations these are there on page number 29 you can just quickly go through that and try to understand those things so this is page number 29 we have seen about declinations those are there so maximum north maximum south and zero declinations that has been given please try to refer wherever possible so that you are able to have a clarity of all these things together so because understanding these things together is very important right i have included the actual daily chart for cotton during 1927 through 1929 you can use these charts for further study the last page contains a black and white copy of the original book jacket right 
So probably this chart of March 27, 1927, that has been given of cotton. And again, March 28 chart of cotton has been given. So that has been studied. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. So this all details, things have been given. You can go through that as per requirement. Again, this is 1929. And this is uh, the tunnel through the air. Yeah, probably this is how the book looks like. Right, and if you click on that, probably you'll be able to get further details. I'm not seeing that in this part, but just giving you a reference that how the original book was. Okay, uh, so guys, this was the last chapter related to WD Gan technical studies, trading techniques rather. Uh, tunnel through the air, secrets revealed, and this part was again specifically related to astrology. If you go further on YouTube, you'll be able to find part 8 and part 9 of the series. Series means the playlist, which is there. If you go in playlist, you'll be finding WD Gun trading techniques, and in there, a list of nine different videos have been given related to this book. Not only this book. WD Gun trading techniques and others. Of this, part eight and part nine are specifically dedicated to astrology, and this is going to be part 10. So, my request is also go through part eight and part nine so that you'll be able to understand the things together. And if you have any doubts, please do get back to me at Chetan Pathare 80. This is my on, on Telegram. And on Telegram, we also have a group which is unit of technical analysis unit of technical analysis i'll provide a link of the telegram channel also and if you go on youtube and type down unit of technical analysis unit of technical analysis for trading you'll be finding this channel which is there so please do subscribe like the videos and please do comment on the videos so that i'm able to understand what are your doubts or did you understand the videos or not okay thank you so much bye take care